Uh, welcome to part 44 of Pokemon Fire Red, where we're now starting the Elite Four rematches. They all have slightly different teams to what they had before, but they're really high levels, which meant I had to spend a lot of time grinding. What level are your Pokemon now? They're all around between 70 and 80, mostly. I think there's a few, a few levels above and some below, but that's basically the Jungle Ball Park area you got to be. Yeah. And I think again, the Riley might give me the most work, I can't remember actually, it's been a little so while. I notice um, when you re-fight them, like when you have rematches against them, they usually increase their cap by 10, they go up from whatever they was before, they increase their Pokemon level by 10 or maybe a little bit extra. It might be something like that, yeah. I hadn't really paid that much attention to be honest, I decided that for this, because the first time around we were fighting the Elite Four, it took for fucking ages and whatnot. I thought I should really just over level everything just so we yeah. don't have to sit here watching this for as long. Yeah. <laughs> but Probably one of the few downsides for X and Y, the Elite Four do not increase in level the second time around. Yeah, which is kind of a shame given that they were stupidly easy of uh, their base form, weren't they? Yeah. Yes. You would think they'd have like a revised team later on. Especially like if they they it would have been a lot more easier they? for grinding if they did increase their levels yeah. as well. But they only had like four Pokemon each, yeah. and XY, yeah. didn't they? Like, why not just, when you rematch them, just give them a full team of six, because uh, like, then you can be a lot more creative for the Pokemon they got well, as well. that's what they did with everything else. So. I don't know why that would be different. No, but... <laughs> would have been good if, like, the second time you battle them, yes, they've got an increased level, but they've also each got one Mega Evolution. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to make more use of the Mega Evolutions because that as a concept, it kind of feels a bit shoehorned in as it is. So you might as well make the most of it rather yeah, than just leave it there at the side, sort of. Yeah, but Mega Charles X. Yeah, he looks fucking awesome. <laughs> but, yeah. And Lapras has come out again. We've seen most of these Pokemon. Some of them. Well, I think all of them actually have at least one new Pokemon like, from, that wasn't in their team before. Normally a Gen 2 or 3 Pokemon, as far as I know. But, yeah. Mm. These are going to be some tiring parts, I'm not warning in advance. Do you know something I thought about the other day? Mm. And, like, do you know, like, how does your player know what they're going to send out? I don't, like, know, what? Yeah. what? I just That's thought about so that. Is like, yeah. so like, he's part psychic or something? Like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or maybe, like, this is what we're seeing on the screen as text that might actually be being said. Because <laughs> right, they've got, like, the gym refs. So oh, they yeah, they have announcers as well, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but that begs the question, like, when you're, like, fighting someone out in the grass, does some random geezer go out of the way just to say, he's going to send this out next, <laughs> what will you do? Like, just, like, a passerby, just, like, yeah. commentating <laughs> on your battling match. Yeah. If you were just walking past the battle, you would have to be a complete troll and shout, He's got a fucking Charizard! <laughs> <laughs> when it's just like two bug catchers. Oh. Like. <laughs> yeah. And what if, I just suddenly thought, what if the bug catcher decided to lie to you? Just like he's on one Pokemon left, you've killed all these Caterpies and Metapods and that, and he decides to lie about his last Pokemon. Just Go like, I'm Salamence! A, yeah, I'm <laughs> about to send out a Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Sure, I don't know if. I should probably believe him because the text never lies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, if you see text in a uh, RPG game, you know that's going to be telling the exact truth. Yes. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> and it's like Zap Dose, the nickname of his Weedle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, one of the Pokemon Bridge jokes, like Pidgey. No, Caterpie gets named Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Oh, and Steelix just died. Oh, we think of Steelix. He's <laughs> awesome. How do, you, how do you evolve him from Onyx? It's you trade it with a metal coat. Yeah, I, I don't like the trade evolution yeah. setup, but like, yeah. you get some cool Pokemon. Yeah. Plus, Although, uh, to be honest, you get with, so, so as well, don't you? From so yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, coat. if you've got a metal coat, you're going to want a scissor. Yeah. It's just so much cooler. Also, shiny Steelix is gold. I wonder how much that's worth. <laughs> <laughs> that must be some value on it, the size of the thing. Uh, yeah. Just chop it up and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> bit by bit. Team Rocket or something. <laughs> Bleed yeah. to the It's worth extra because it's the largest part of his body. Bleed to liquid gold. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. <laughs> yeah. Champ again, I'm going to try not to get too concerned about how many arms it's got this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does look a bit odd. 
It looks very old, <laughs> but I'm gonna kill it easily this time, I think, just because, you know, it looks like time, he, I have flight. It really it's good looks that he's like got extra arms, you can use it for certain things. <laughs> it really looks like he's trying to take a shit. Come on, <laughs> look at it! <laughs> Especially sure. the first two arms. It looks like he's excited about <laughs> having a shit. He's like, yeah, I'm going to take that shit. <laughs> it's like it's already... already it's, a, it's like it's already You get out of my ass and you do it now, boy. <laughs> it's, it's like it's already happened. It's released yeah. from him. He's like, oh, yes! Yeah, it's so like, oh, good. It's like the South Park when Randy takes that shit. He's like, yes, I took the biggest shit ever. Yeah. Uh, where's this guy? Uh, <laughs> out the window. Uh, the window. <laughs> Bruno's nearly dead. That's how pathetic he is in this. He was pretty pathetic when we first faced him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I forget, what is his type again? Fighting. Fight ground fighting. fighting. What is it? He's meant to be fighting, I think, but most of his Pokemon are like rocks. Except for the I don't understand why he doesn't have like um, Polyrath and uh, what's it? Uh, I'm trying to think there. Primate, primate. Yeah. That's that would, Even if they are dual type, it like, makes more still sense. sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know Chuck <laughs> from Gen 2's got a polygraph, and that that's pretty cool. Yeah. But then with with Gen 2, uh, they did use a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon overall, didn't they? Like, yeah. It was cool. very heavy Gen 1 base with a few extra bits. Yeah, exactly. Especially it was, like the like, gym teams. It was quite a lot of like. Gym, Gen 1 Pokemon and like the occasional Gen 2 Pokemon. Like, it's like when you first started, there's like Pidgey and Rattata and just like Ho uh, No, not Ho <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> random wild <laughs> <horror>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Hoo So like it's just mainly using Gen 1 Pokemon and stuff. 